Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss few of the critical section problem solutions. So in the previous session, we have already discussed about the critical section problem and what type of challenges or the properties are there which every critical section problem solution need to be satisfied. So there are primarily three properties which we have talked about. The solution need to satisfy the mutual exclusion, bounded weighting and progress. Okay. So in this lecture, I am going to discuss software based solutions. Okay. And the next lecture, I will be discussing about hardware based solutions. So primarily there are two types of solutions for critical section problem. Okay. So let's discuss software based solution first. Now the very first solution which is given in the Galvin or most of the books, it is based on the shared variable. So the very first solution is proposed based on the shared variable that is also known as the Decker's algorithm. Okay. So this is also known as the Decker's algorithm. Now in this solution, what we do or what is being utilized here so there is a variable turn and turn is you consider a shared variable so process one and process two both will use this turn variable okay so this is a shared variable now process one execute this code and process two execute this code and process one and process two both are concurrent processes concurrent processes right so it is executing this and when because this is a while loop so it is continuously keep on running now it checks here in this while loop whether the turn is not equal to zero if the turn is not equal to zero this condition will become true and this while loop keep on executing but this while loop doesn't contain anything inside it so the body of while loop does not contain anything it is a kind of empty or do nothing kind of while loop so it is like do nothing okay this while loop will not be doing anything so i'm writing here do nothing okay right so this is a kind of while loop similar while loop has been applied here also so if this is not the turn for process 0, that means here we are assuming there are only two processes. Okay. So either process 0 will execute this code or similar kind of code is also available in process 1 or you can say process 1 or process 2, right? So if it is not the turn of this process, then whatever the process is executing it, it will keep on waiting okay so this loop will be keep on executing indefinitely until and unless this condition becomes false now if this condition is false that means turn is equal to zero if the turn is equal to zero that means it is the turn of this process then this process will start executing the critical section problem so then this line will be executed then this line will be executed right okay so after executing the critical section once the process will come out it will again reset the turn to another process so here we are taking value for turn 0 and 1 because this solution is for two process solution okay so when 0 is the turn that means process 1 will execute the critical section when the turn is 1 then process Two can execute the critical section so when process to execute this code it will check first whether the turn is not equal to one if it is not equal to one that means turn will be zero so this is not the turn for process two process two will stuck in this while loop and it, this while loop will keep on executing but if turn is equal to one so this condition will become false and the process will reach to critical section and start executing the critical section code 
and once it come out from here it will set the turn for other process so process 1 is setting the turn for process 2 and process 2 is setting the turn for process 1 that is the logic here now if we talk about the three properties which we have seen in the previous class the critical section problem solution need to satisfy mutual exclusion so i am writing in short me mutual exclusion then bounded weighting and third is progress right so let's check whether the mutual exclusion bounded weighting in progress is satisfied or not now if you check is there any way so that both the processes can reach the critical section at the same time so if you try to check this situation let's say initially the turn is let's say zero when we come here zero process will enter here right so initially maybe this process is executing inside the critical section or this process is executing the critical section but when another process will parallelly start executing it will not be able to reach out the critical section until and unless the another process will come out from the critical section okay so this solution can ensure the mutual exclusion there is no problem in that right but there are certain problems like so mutual exclusion is guarantees it it supports the mutual exclusion there is no problem this solution can provide you the mutual exclusion right but it does not guarantee the progress now what is the progress it enforces the strict alternation of the processes entering the critical section the meaning is process 1 is setting the turn for process 2 and once the process 2 will execute it will set the process the turn for process 1 this strict alteration of the process may create problem okay so it may happen that when the process one is setting the turn for process two at that time the process two may not be interested to acquire the critical section right so it doesn't meet the condition of progress okay and bounded weighting is also violated because if progress is not getting met or you can say if the turn for process 2 is set by process 1 and process 2 let's say it is terminated so if the process 2 is terminated and process 1 has set the turn for process 2 that means there will be indefinite waiting for process 1 in case process 1 again want to acquire the critical section so this particular solution provide the mutual exclusion it provides the mutual exclusion but does not support the bounded weighting and progress okay let's discuss the another algorithm that is based on the flag variables so here let's say we are taking two flag variables both are boolean type so in short i am writing bool or you can write fully like boolean so there is boolean flag 1 and flag 2 initially both the flags are false okay now when process one is executing it is first setting the flag for itself as true so flag one it is setting true when the process two execute it sets flag two as true okay so every process is setting flags for itself right and then it is checking for another flag so process 1 will check for the flag of process 2 and process 2 will check for the flag of process 1 okay so if process 1 is setting its own flag and if the flag 2 is also true that means the another process possibly executing inside the critical section that means this process should not reach out this line and this while loop will become infinite loop so until and unless this flag 2 is false this process one cannot reach the critical section this loop will keep on executing this loop will keep on executing right so this will become a kind of infinite loop until this flag 2 is true okay now 
if this flag because initially both the flags were false so this flag is false then the process can execute this critical section now imagine the situation when a process is executing inside the critical section this process one its flag one is true now when in that duration if process two is start executing process two set its own flag so flag two will become true and then it is checking the flag one and flag one is already set as true here <coughs> so because it is true this while loop will become an infinite loop okay so this process two will not be able to reach out the critical section right so in that way we can say it will satisfy the condition of mutual exclusion okay now once the process will come out from the critical section it will again set the flag as false so it is setting its own flag true and the flag false it is setting its own flag true and false so this is the simple logic now if we analyze this solution mutual exclusion i have already told you that it is satisfying the condition of mutual exclusion but there is a problem in case of progress and bounded weight so it does not satisfy progress and bounded weighting and there is a chance of deadlock so how the deadlock can occur we try to understand let's say if we execute or the process is executing like this so the very first line has been executed so this is the very first line the computer execute this and then let's say computer a process is executing this now after if this line the context switching happens so the next let's say third in the sequence the third instruction has been executed this and fourth instruction has been executing this now there's a problem now what is happening if after this line if after this line here if context switching happens and this sequence executed both flag 1 and flag 2 will become true and in that case when process 1 start checking the condition here and process 2 start checking the condition here both will start in these loops so these loops will keep on executing and none of the process will reach out the critical section so when none of the process is able to finish its lifetime then we consider the situation like deadlock situation okay so because deadlock is there there will not be any progress and it will not also meet the bounded waiting condition right so let's discuss the third algorithm that is very famous and well-known algorithm considered as peterson's solution or peterson's algorithm so peterson makes these two solutions the very first solution based on the shared variable so it has taken the turn variable and it also set the flags okay so peterson is the combination of both it takes the shared variable as well as the flags now what peterson does so the process zero or process one whatever you assume it is just two process solution so process zero is executing this code and when the process zero is executing it is setting its own flag as true so it is setting its own flag as true and it is setting the turn for other process so process 0 is setting the flag the turn for process 1 and the process 1 will set the turn for process 0 and it will set the flag for itself okay now after this this condition will be checked so flag 1 1 means process 0 is checking the flag of the process one and it is checking the turn of one so if it is true flag of one is true that it is itself doing it the process zero itself is doing it so that means it is true only so this is true only because just before this line this process made this true but in case the turn is also one this turn will be set by will be set by this turn will be set by no no i'm saying opposite this is not true we are setting here turn one not flag okay so i'm just cleaning this this turn is one because process zero itself setting the turn 
as one so this thing is already true okay so this is true because it is already set here turn one but this flag one will be set by the process one or you can see another process so if this process is executing inside the critical section then this condition will also be true so if both these condition will be true this while loop will become infinitely executing loop okay and this process will not be able to move further and it will not able to acquire or execute the critical section but initially we are assuming both the flags are false so there is no issue this turn one is true but this condition is initially false okay so if this is false this is true and there is an end operation that means the overall condition is false and this while loop will break so after this while loop this critical section the process is start executing this critical section right so assume that this first process is executing inside the critical section when this process is executing inside the critical section the flag zero is true okay now you assume that the context switching happens and this process one is start executing process one sets its own flag as true and it sets the turn for process zero and then it's checked so this turn zero is already true because this is already true we set here right so this is true now this flag zero this flag zero is also true because flag zero was set by process zero and it is still executing inside the critical section so flag zero is also true so if this is also true and this is also true that means overall it is true so this while loop will become a kind of infinite loop so again and again the process will be executing this while loop and it will be waiting until and unless this flag will become zero and once this process will come out from this critical section it will set its own flag as false so once this process will set this flag false then this condition will become false and this process one will be able to acquire the critical section so i hope the idea is very much clear how this code is working the peterson solution right so let's analyze the peterson solution is efficient solution for two process uh, problem solution it provides or ensures the mutual exclusion it also ensures bounded waiting and progress okay so please do remember right there is another form of peterson solution for multiple processes but this particular solution has been written for two processes only to synchronize two processes right so thank you everyone for connecting see you in the next class